The Bank of Korea has released data on the nation's GDP growth and per capita gross national income for 2018. Our Kim Hae Sung reports. South Korea's per capita gross national income surpassed the $30,000 mark for the first time in 2018. The Bank of Korea says per capita GNI, a gauge of purchasing power, was 31,349 U.S. dollars last year, up 5.4 percent on year. Korea has become the seventh country in the world with a population of 50 million to have passed the 30,000 mark. Passing the $30,000 mark is seen as a measure of recognition as a developed nation. Per capita income includes income from households, government and companies. Korea's per capita GNI passed the $10,000 mark back in 1994, the $20,000 mark in 2006, and has now passed the $30,000 milestone. This puts Korea on the same tier as six other countries, the U.S., France, the U.K., Germany, Japan and Italy, which all have more than 50 million people and a per capita income of at least $30,000. As for Korea's GDP growth, the BOK said it grew by 2.7% in 2018, the slowest pace in six years. The bank said exports and consumption contributed to the economy, while both facilities and construction investment fell sharply, pulling down the growth rate. With economic growth expected to slow down and with growing structural problems like a low fertility rate and aging population, the BOK said, achieving sustainable growth such as narrowing income disparity and creating more jobs will be important going forward so that South Korea's per capita GNI can reach the $40,000 mark in the future. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.